guys, welcome back to my channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here today, and we are going to be opening packages from friends. All right, so you guys know you are the best subscribers in the world, and one subscriber in particular sent me a couple of things. Now, one of these things has been sitting here for a couple of months. Don't judge me. The other one I just got in yesterday. So, we're going to take a look. Now, one of these items is going to be for my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. The other item, well, that's mine. You're going to have to get your own. No shame. So, let's go for the giveaway one, which, of course, is going to be the small one. All right. So, we're going to get into this. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. I will be doing the After Hours Crafters Lounge this evening, which, if you're watching this, the day I put it out is Friday. What is today? Friday the 22nd? Maybe? 21st? One of those. Y'all know what date it is. All right. So the subscriber I'm talking about, since I didn't mention her name, and whether she wants me to or not, I'm doing it because she's awesome. Kelly Head. What up, Kelly? Um, Kelly sent this to me a while ago to give away to one of my subscribers because of the fact that I think she had more than one. So I was like, okay, yeah, sure, I can give that to a subscriber. Well, then I lost it under a pile of papers. And I found it yesterday. Again, don't judge me. No shame. So, what this is, if you can't already tell, is an aqua blue Archer's Arts diamond grinder. And again, this will be part of my giveaway. The giveaway will have tools in it. Like a Craftmates lockables, a diamond grinder, maybe some mermaid tail pens, um... The subscriber giveaway will happen whenever I hit 5,000 subscribers. This will be in the giveaway. I'm not going to go, like, dive deep into it or anything because I don't want to... I want to preserve it since it's been preserved this entire time. So, actually, I'm going to wrap it back up in the bubble wrap because then whoever that goes to will get it just like that. So, again, thank you so much for sending that to me for my subscribers. Kelly Head, I greatly appreciate it. Now, watch she, Watch she'll be the one that wins. I love you, Kelly. All right. Now, this other thing she sent me... Apparently, I'm supposed to be testing this out for her, which I don't have a problem with that. I'll test out just about anything. So, as you guys will later find out next week. Um, so, she is a seamstress, maybe? She is an artisan of the yarn and hook or the thread and needle. Either way, let's, let, let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. So, oh my god, that's so cute. All right, so this is what she sent me. And you're probably like, okay, what is that? Like a tiny blanket? No, it's not a tiny blanket. It has a little elastic bow on it. Sorry, you're probably hearing the dogs because, you know, they're being extra this morning. And when you unroll, holy moly. Okay, so when you unroll it, open it up. This is an accessories container or container this is an accessories pouch for you to put like all your diamond paint and pens in because lord knows you got like 50 of them so you can put all your pens and stuff in it she wanted me to test it out and like be tough on it i don't know whether to drop an elbow on it or like you know fight it for till the death or something but she wanted me to test this out to see how it works um it's really really good look at the stitching on that like how? I can't use a sewing machine to save my life, and I'm not sure if she hand-did this. And it's nice and thick, like, the front of it is almost textured, but the inside is really soft. Um, so, yeah, like, look at that. That's, like, most of my pen. So, she wanted me to try this out, and I was like, uh, yeah. There's my Karen pen. <laughs> and my Rachel pen. Yeah, that's what their names are. Don't judge me. There's my other Tracy, or Rachel pen. So yeah, like you put your pens in or you, whatever accessories you decide to put in there. Essentially, you can roll it up or maybe fold it like this since it has the straps on it. Bring it around town, tie it up. And of course, it has to be llamas because <laughs> what else would it be, right? <laughs> but I'm pretty sure she'll do them in different patterns. I don't know whether she's selling these yet or not. She just wanted me to test it out to make sure that it's going to hold up. And I told her I'd be pretty rough on it. So like, we're going to drop an elbow on it. 
Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be trying that out for her. So thank you so much, Kelly Head. I absolutely love it. It is absolutely adorable. It has little cactuses on it and little llamas. The elastic strap is a nice touch because what if you... I, I'm new to collecting drill pins. So, sorry, you're seeing Daisy, like, knock the blinds. So I'm new to collecting drill pins. I think I have, like, three or four more on the way from uh, KK's Unique Diamond Painting pill Pins. So, like, this is going to come in super handy. So I don't have to worry about where my pins went. I know exactly where they are, and it's a bright color, so I'll be able to find it. So, again, thank you so much for that, Kelly. I greatly appreciate it. Um, so that's it for packages-wise. Now, mini haul time. Now, this is a hodgepodge video. There's been a lot of these lately, I guess. I, I guess I only did one, but either way. I got this. Hi. And you're like, what, what the world is that? This is a phone stand. <laughs> Isn't that cool? You put your phone in there, and then you can also hook it to your computer. I will try to link this down below, but honestly, I think you can find it cheaper than what I pay. I think I paid like $20 for this. Yeah, don't judge me. Um, I found this little ad on, hold on a second, the dogs. All right, sorry. I found this for like $20 on Instagram. It was just like a random ad that popped up and everybody was like, you can get this cheaper on this website. And I'm like, okay, well, I didn't see that website for it. I, I saw this one. So essentially it's like a little hand and you can turn it sideways. It's like bendable and adjustable and really cool. And you can hook it into your computer. So like if I'm uh, uploading a video or something to my computer, I can plug it in my computer and still have the phone standing up so I can watch it, turn it sideways for landscape mode. So I thought that was pretty cool. I got that in the mail yesterday too. Let's see. And then I went to Walmart this morning and got a couple of things. First things first, we got canvases because I want to do the canvas finish. I'm talking about when I say canvas finish, I mean like the wrap around method. Okay. So I got this for my llama, because I was, re I remember looking at the llama and going, I don't, I, there, there's not going to be a whole lot of space for me to wrap that one around because of the words. So I figured, oh yeah, that, that'll fit perfectly. So I figured I just wrap it around like that. So again, you guys will see that video sometime next week. I might do my Diamond Art Club one first only because it's already done. Um, and that's the one I wanted to give to my daughter and hopefully I can get it to her sometime this year because y'all know I'm horrible with postage. So yeah, we're gonna put that back away. And I also did get canvases. And when I say canvases, I mean like painter's canvases. Like I found these at Walmart for like $5.97. And this is an 11 by 14. This is for the, friend of the, ma uh, the Friends from the Seas. Why do I keep saying Friends from the Maiden? Good gravy. All right. So I got those two canvases. What else did I get? Oh, I also picked up yarn. Now, if you guys don't know, which you probably don't since I don't do a whole lot of crocheting on my channel because there's only so much I can teach you about crochet unless you ask me to. I love rainbow. I love rainbow everything. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. Love rainbow. So anything dealing with rainbow or lots of bright, cheery colors, I'm all about that life. So I got this, which is Mandela Sparkle. And I don't know if you can see the little glimmers in there. Because I don't want to just sparkle with my diamond paintings. I want to be extra and sparkle with my crochet item too. So I bought this delicious looking yarn cake at Walmart. And it was $2.97 on sale. It was the last one. And you best believe I got it. And I have to get another one. Because I, I, I always buy my yarn in twos. Because you never know what project you're going to make with it. And you know one skein isn't going to be enough. So I got that nice sparkly yarn. I thought about making a poncho for Maggie for the springtime. So yeah, that's going to be nice, bright, cheery colors. You got like a lavender, blue, green, purple, light purple, darker purple. It looks like it's verinated into right there. Dark pink and then light pink. Yes, I know that because I memorized it from the lady at the store telling me. So yeah, either way. And then the last thing I got from Walmart was these. Now, if you remember, when I, I got some of these, sort of, from Diamond Art Club with my points, little vials. Well, these are the jumbo vials. So, like, 
I'm gonna open one of them because I want to see them anyways. I found this in the bead section of the craft section of my Walmart. Now my Walmart has a pretty decent selection when it comes to like uh, craft items. So when I found these, I was like, oh yeah, I'm all about that life. So this is how big it is. Black hand side. There you go. It's identical to the little ones, which they did have the Michaels ones that keep coming broken. So I, I didn't get them though, but I know I can if I need to. So this is compared to the little ones I got from Diamond Art Club. Now... I'm not sure, I think I remember correctly, the ones from Diamond Art Club, what were they, $14.97, but I got them for free because I used my DAC points, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 30 in that container with my Diamond Art Club one, and then this one comes with 12 jars, and these jars are pretty big. I'm going to say you can probably fit a thousand plus diamonds in it, so just comparing that to this little one, yeah, buddy. So if I have a bigger project or something, or something that has like a lot of color, I have, again, I buy stuff in twos, folks. I got two of those, so I have 24 of those nice gigantic vials. And with my sticker maker, it'll make it really nice and easy for if I want to, say, copy the legend on the side of my diamond paintings that don't come with inventory sheets, and then make stickers and stick them on top of the case. And I like what Gone Off My Meds did. I noticed it in one of her videos. Uh, whenever she put her label on, she also put a label on the inside. So I would that I think that's what I'm going to start doing because that's really helpful so that you're not having to like look at the top and get it and everything else. You can see what's on the inside. So I might start doing that. So thank you, Wendy, for that idea. If I can get the top back on here. Winning the battle, losing the battle with the top. So yeah, so that's all I got for you today. So, you know, again, my little Walmart haul. And these also were $5.97. I'm cheap, folks. I'm cheap. So we have the two canvases, the yarn, and the two containers for storage of my diamonds. And then we have this adorable little tool accessory holder that I am going to love on. And people drop an elbow again because she told me to be rough on it. And I'm like, we want me to fight it? Should I shank it? Like, oh, wow. Even that didn't even poke a hole in it. <laughs> Either way, thank you again, Kelly Head. I greatly appreciate it. I will test it out and, like, throw it around and let Maggie play with it. And if Maggie can handle it and it doesn't tear apart, then you're good as gold, girl. So thank you so much for letting me test this out for you. I greatly appreciate it. And... That's it for me, folks. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. And continue to do so. How you do it? <laughs> Either way, I'm going to get going. Uh, so yeah, so this is kind of a hodgepodge video, but it is what it is at this point. You know how hard it is to make up stuff for videos? like So we're just going to do hodgepodge. Yeah. So that's it for me. Thanks again so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them down in the comments section. I'll answer your questions. That's fine. Do your thing, boo-boo. Um, I will be linking all of this stuff down in the description box, except for Kelly Head, because she doesn't need to be linked. She's a person. But I will be linking all this stuff down in the description box below. Again, the Archer's Arts Diamond Grinder will be going into the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. I don't know what I'm at right now because I forgot to check it before I started this. But either way, be looking out for that. And with that said, that's it. Thanks so, so much for watching, guys. But always remember to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.